All right, let's solve some more exponential equations. Let's look, we have two right here, e to the x equals 72. So let's start with this one. Notice, if I want to get that x out of that exponent, the base for natural log of that e is going to make that an x. So therefore, x equals the natural log of 72. So I can put that in my calculator and get 4.277. Or, let's go over here to this one. I divided each side by 3. 42 divided by 3 is 14. Now I'm going to go take a log of base 2 to get rid of that 2 to get the x out of that into there. And now I can go to my alpha window option 5 and I can put base 2 log 14 and get 3.807. Also, I could graph it. If I went to my y equals and put y equals e to the x and y equals 72, this is what I would get. Now I'd have to change, um, and also the same right here. If I went to this one and put y equals 3 to the 2x right here and y equals 42 right there, I could graph those and see where they intersect. And the way that I would do that would be the following. Going back to just this one right here as a sample. Go back and look at this one. This is y1 is e to the x, y2 is 72. I changed my window from 0 to 5 for the x's and 0 to 100 with a y scale of 10. I can leave my x scale of 1. And what I'm going to do is this. To find that point of intersection, this is how you can solve it by graphing. I'm going to hit second, calculate, option 5, enter, enter, enter. And when I do, that's what will appear right there. And I know that x is 4.277. So, Let's try it for the B one. Put in Y1 right here and put in Y2, 42. Notice I changed the window to 0 to 5, 0 to 60, a Y scale 10, just so that I could see it. I know I had to be above 60, I mean above 42 for an answer. And there we go. And then if once again, if I hit second calculate, option 5, enter, 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 I will uh, find that point of intersection, which will be that right there. That's a way you can solve these by graphing, which might be easier for some people. So,